Hey, so here is WC Schedule installed in uh, WordPress here, and I'm just going to run through a quick demo of how to use it. I've already added uh, from this schedule a couple classes. So on Monday from September 10th to December 10th, there are classes on Monday from 6.15 to 7.15, and then another one from 7.15 to 8.15. Um, and then there's this third one. So let's go through the process of adding this third class. So it's uh, intermediate castanet. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. We're going to go to classes. We're going to add a class. So you can do that right here. And then your description. I'm going to hop back over. Uh, do, 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 do. Students continue to learn and all this stuff. Of course, I'm going to copy that. Throw in the description, add the item. Uh, and then this class is going to want a different instructor. So we're going to go over to the instructor page. So far, we've only dealt with Valerie as an instructor. But we're going to do this guy or girl. Sibylanus, that's probably a girl. So third try here, I'm going to copy that. Copy jump over to instructor, paste, no description. You can throw a description in if you want, but I'm not going to add item. And naturally, if you wanted to add the descriptions later, you just hit edit, and it'll let you do that. Uh, so then classrooms, it's gonna stay in the same classroom because everything's taught from Ritmo Studio. So we're gonna go back up to the schedule and add this in. Uh, is there anything else? So 6.15 and 9.05. By default, the schedule allows you to jump around between 15 minute incre increments. So we're going to go to options so we can grab that 9.05 thing. Switch to 5 minute increments and save changes. So that'll stay like that. I'll jump back over so I can make that change to the time. And we have the Castanet with Sevelanus. Freedom Studios, and it is on Monday, starting at 8.15 and going till 9.05. 8.15 p.m. to 9.05 p.m. The time zone is really weird. Uh, I had it going to Toronto before, in the city that this is located in, and it looked like it was defaulting the actual location to Abidjan and then trying to guess what time that would be in Toronto time. It was really confusing to me, so I'm the best I can tell you to do is just leave it as Abidjan, it'll just work. So don't worry about getting your city out of this, just leave it visibility visible and uh, add the item. And it'll say one item was added to the database. It'll throw some errors here, which I would have to actually go into the file and look at to see what they're doing. But it appears to work, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Because when I refresh this, there it is. You've got an 815, you've got a 715, and a 615. When you hover over, you get your the class with the instructor with the time. Now, the further customization that we can do here is fix these colors because right now they're hideous. So let's go to the options. Scroll down to the color area and you don't even have to really read all of this. You can just by eye see what color is what. This green corresponds to the default uh, filling in the fact that there is a class that day so that green is what we're looking at. So if we wanted to change that to a red, it's really nice and user-friendly. Uh, you click on this. I apologize for the truck going by. You grab your, your little uh, selector thing there. You grab a nice deep red that you like. And then you save that change. Let's uh, wait for that to load. Then we'll jump over to the calendar and hit refresh. Now we've got it in red. That might be too extreme. I'm going to switch that to like a dark black and the text to a red or something. So like a dark gray might be nicer for that. So we're going to go to something like this. See how that works. And then these dark grays, I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to worry about that in a second. Save changes. 
And fresh. So already that's starting to look a lot nicer than that ugly green that they had. Um, I'm not going to change the border divisions in the table yet, but I am going to change this pink hover because it's really puke worthy. Let's go down to the pink. Uh, looks like that's it. And a better hover option, let's just look at our colors here, it might be like a... Uh, I don't know. Let's do another type of sort of light gray. That's always safe. Light-ish gray. C2. Save that. Just kind of picking and choosing here, seeing what's going to happen. Gonna refresh. And naturally, you guys, you know, you can do whatever you want, but uh, that looks better from a just the box color standpoint, but you lose this this detail text. And this blue really doesn't fit, I don't think. So we're going to go find that blue. And we're going to make it red. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is the blue. Let's just try it. The color of the links with it, which appear in the boxes. Let's make that red. Let's save and see if that changed it. You're really getting a feel, probably, for the fact that I'm just, yeah, just kind of eyeballing stuff and changing them by trial and error. So now you've got the width and 6 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. That might not even show up in the video until I change it. So that's like a really scheduled headings background. Weeks, weekdays, hours. Let's try changing that to like a purple just to troubleshoot and see if that's what it was. And we're gonna refresh and look at it. Oh, that's what that is. Yikes. So let's go back and fix the purple. Uh, I think it's just solid, like a gray. I'm, I'm doing this on the live site, so if you wanted to do this in development, you're out of luck. Um, that text, it's tricky to find. Do, 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 do. Tried that one. Border color, no. Background. Pop up box. That's just white. Details. This has to be it. You know what? Maybe I just changed that. Uh, border color, schedule headings, schedule headings, background, text color, black. That is really confusing to me. If I inspect the element, this will probably be the smartest way of doing it. CCC, okay, let's see if we can find something like that. It's got to be handled somewhere else. Okay, so maybe we can't change that one, that gray, which means we're going to have to make that overlay box darker so that we can see that gray. So the overlay box, uh, let's make that really dark for now just to see if everything shows up. Save changes. And close that. Things are being slow. What? Okay, yeah. Let's refresh. So that, you know, that's that's workable. Uh, if you want to further customize that, you know where to do it. It's in the options. Down here you can mess with the colors. Uh, yeah, so that's how you sort of work around with the... Find the name of it. WC Schedule. Plug-in or request.